All right, so now we're doing 8Q, find the first non-consecutive number. This is by the Codite. 91% of the people like it. And we're going to uh, find the first element of an, of an array that is not consecutive. By not consecutive, uh, they mean not exactly one larger than the previous element of the array. For example, if we have an array that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blah, 1, and blah, 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 and 6 is the first, yeah. anyway, 6 is the non-consecutive number. Uh, if the whole array is consecutive, then return null. The array will have at least two elements, and all elements will be numbers. The numbers will also be unique in ascend and in ascending order. The numbers could be positive or negative, and the first non-consecutive could be either two. All right, well, okay. Uh, here's something else. Uh, try to make it null if it's empty or just one uh, number. And there we go. So in this one, we're going to uh, do array.prototype.find. And the find method returns the first element in the provided array that satisfies the provided testing function. If no value satisfy, the testing function undefined is returned. All right, so basically on this one, it says find element, and then the element uh, needs to be greater than 10. So the first element greater than 10 is 12, so it's going to be 12. Let's see what happens when we switch it up. 130, 120, and 13. Let's see what happens. Oh, it doesn't go in order. How interesting. How interesting. Okay. Anyway, so now you know that too. Uh, so the, yeah, this is the syntax we're going to be using. This find element index uh, arrow function and blah, blah, blah. All right. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do. Also, we're going to use this number as integer, but I'll show you about that in a little bit. So first we're going to put return. And what we're going to return is, uh, what is it? We're going to go R, the little uh, argument, dot find. And we're going to have X, Y as the uh, element and the index. All right. And on that, we're going to have, uh, if, X th if the element X is not equal to y, which is the index, which would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so y plus whatever's at x, is that what it is? x? No, r index 0. So r index 0. So if it was 1, that would be 1. So let's say it's uh, uh, this one. So it would be x, which would be 4, needs to equal y, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, plus whatever's at R, 0, which is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So that would work. But on this one, on 6, we're going to do X, which is 6, uh, and Y is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus R, 0, which is 1. So it's 5. So it doesn't equal it. So that's the 1. It's go that's going to be the 1, right? Now let's see if it works. Oh, it does. Awesome. Let's see if it really works. Nope. Why? Bonk. Oh, right there. Undefined and undefined and whatever. All right. So we've got to do that. So because of that, we've got to do something like this. We've got to do like integer. What is it? We've got to do number is integer integer how do you spell it? yeah it is uh times that right times all that excuse me let me take number times integer times all that right but that just tells us is it an integer number dot is integer that just tells us if it is an integer or not so that's not going to be cool either so we're going to have to do, if number is integer, what do we want? We want this also, but what is it? We don't want to repeat ourselves. So because we don't want to repeat ourselves, we're going to have to say uh, first non-consecutive, so f in c 
let f and c, let f and c equal this right here. We're going to paste it right there, and then we're going to call this f and c. So, and if it is good, we're going to call it, we're going to, okay. So, if this is an integer, then return the integer. And if not, make it null. I think that's going to work. Hopefully, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Perfect. Awesome. So that's how we do that. Let me, uh, let me jazz it up just a little bit. I don't like the way it looks. All right, that looks good. Uh, so that's how we do it. And uh, we're going to attempt it. We get attempted it. It looks good. Submit it. And my solutions. And there it is right there. Best practice. That's what I think. And I liked it a lot. And there we go. And we'll see you next time.